Good evening. Good morning. I'm on my way to go meet a medicine man out in Torreon, New Mexico. Pretty excited about it because I've been out here a lot with hiking and exploring in the past uh, 16, 17 years. But I haven't met up with anybody else out here. So let's see how it goes. Alright, we're out here in uh, Torreon, New Mexico. Cuba is about 30 miles east of here. And I am here with Manuel Pinto. Manuel Pinto. あ、これ can you uh, tell us about the area here? Oh, oh, although, um, da 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 like, well, that, like, that's what we usually do to keep us busy. Um, we'll probably walk up there. Right. Can you tell me to wait? Yeah. Yeah. So mostly like um they all pass on and they all they all they all die so I do mostly like a from what they know, you know, from like uh, what they've been through, like this, uh, what they taught us, you know. So they also taught us how to do what we can. あの、ディクジュクイヤエンレランデ。クイン in a way that she changed Oh, that's where like uh, my my grandpa. Yeah, that's where they were all from and where they grew up. Yeah, that's where they grew up on that side. No, 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 no. But I get that. I just had that. Oh, I don't know that. You can't get this. You can't eat. That's not. I don't know that. Ah, you know that's a good no Okay. 
Okay. So every time that when we used to herd sheep, we used to go like around that way, all the way up to to there, and then right here where this tree cuts and na 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 get ya people got to draw that near. No walk or yes, just take it to in that. Take it to in it to. I don't know that no one has to in it to. Later to that it has to in it. Later to that I don't know where it. I don't know where it. You see that it in it most like down the canyon right here. I guess like that was the entrance line in there. Okay, and eventually turned into. So I guess that that's why they call it the Seven Junction Road that's near. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's. And then back down that way to where that big mesa get you as a sort of as Uh huh. He asked you that how you. Okay, okay. Oh, I don't know that little one, not the nine day, and that there's a dazzle. He had that how you. He had a cocky hit to the other, the other cook machine. That is the hazard on the eight at another door. I don't most like one chinese and it's little than it. Okay, so you guys raise a lot here. Yeah. And that's what you ran on. Yeah, and then the schooling and then that and taming horses, breaking horses and all that. Oh really? But mostly up to this day is like uh, for me it's giving me like a um arthritis and all that. The last time I rode a, a horse was um was probably in Notch Chitty. Notch was, Chitty. Yeah, that was probably back in 1993. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, so a while ago. Yeah. So do you have horses here still? I only got like two right there. Lay in the, oh, okay. in the, the in, trailer. Yeah, in the corral. And then uh, and then we got some more up there in the Star Lake. Okay. Where my father, Shijani, out of Star Lake, do in the Star Lake, that's about another 15 miles. I think. Oh, 15 miles of Star yeah. Lake. Oh, okay. So, I think I drove past that. Yeah. When I went to uh, Pueblo Pintado uh, the other weekend. Oh, I think I drove past that. Oh, I think I drove past that. So we have like a, a land over there mm -hmm. on my dad's side. Because I have a shop. A shop? Oh, I think I have a shop. Oh, I think I have a shop. Aro dikin di chini ni chini ge ya kaza sani ya liya chini e shi da hopin si opin si da chi chi ni ya. Oh okay, so that's a mini goats. Yeah. So aro e shi da ni e ya in the most like the story that they tell about the um four summers ya. So e shi ya some people from Arizona they will move down there. Ni chini he chini ge ya e le um. Espanola do chimayu da shi shi ha shi i a ju i a ju i a i a ju i a so that's where we're forced to walk during a long walk did they go so i i talked to a medicine man up in tohajili and he was saying that they started gathering up in 1862 but then u.s records show it started in 1864 did they start early here too i believe so that's just like um they didn't tell us like what year, like uh, when my grandma, and when she, when she told you know, but uh, she just told me, she just told us like uh, where we come from. Jaya e kisan in it lina jinia. Aro e adit and e ishi na de nitsa le she e ya e e ya in e pe chine na kilo go ta kaya jina kigo. E she adit e she tehiti e she. E she tehiti e she she ni e aro ne te e ya e ta na ko ni lo. สนาจีนนี่ลองสิเอียเอตัดสิกิปัสจีนยาจิตอยู่สวัสดิ์ยาเทรดดีลาจีนี่อ่ะอาจจะเอเชียอาจจะเอียเอเปเปเปเอชจ
Eshi aju natsa to denaru shi. Ezigi to hoyu koko. Eshi eshi ipen na shi ni iya ezasan. Epen shi de ji jin neta jin no bata jin no. Aru neta eshi eshi hutsa to shi aru ne kanan ka to shi iya. From from that from from that time they were moving all the Navajos down to uh, to Fort Summers, and then for for our like um, for our great 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 grandma, you know, she they 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 pushed her with some people down to Espanola, so we didn't went to to Fort Summers. That's just like the way that I hear. That's just like the way that they told us. So they kept us there until the, the people they were not released. <coughs> So along from there, there's like a, some more stories, you know, and then, uh, and then uh, once they get there, once they get there, and then uh, they have like all the the treaty and all that, you know, wh whatever went on down there. She didn't make it all the way back to where she came from, mm -hmm. but she made it to here, San Jose, the way to 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 the edge like where the trees at, not, not right here, but way on that side. Oh, okay. There's like, a, in the canyon, there's like a yeah. small ha hogan, yeah. It's kind of like an angle now, but that's not, yeah. Is it still there? Yeah, it's still there. There's like a, kind of like a city tlinda, yeah. Oh, okay. There's a city tlinda, yeah. There's a city tlinda, yeah. There's a city tlinda, yeah. She had, she like um, there's like some more stories like uh, from what went on over there, like uh, what like from what she told like, and then like it's like some of the people. This is some my age do that, and she has she that, but but I haven't. But I just know like what what my grand grandma told me. See, I mean it's 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 I mean that, that's that's why I'm doing this because yeah. it's we're we're sharing stories. You're yeah. telling us about. <laughs> history that a lot of people know about. Yeah. Like when my grandpa, my grandma, when they were still around, you know, we used to do like a, the big ceremony, like the Yibiche and then um, and the fire dance, <clears throat> the squad dance, and then uh, so mostly like uh, we used to like uh, per participate, like helping them with uh, um, the medicine man and then uh, the herbs, you know. Yeah. The herbs that they used to collect and all that. Where do you usually collect them from? Um, around here. So mostly like uh, from some of them, like uh, uh, <clears throat> I learned from my, my dad. He used to know a lot about the, the medicine, like uh, the herbs and all that. So I just kind of know a few of them, you know. But some of them, you know, when he asked them, you know, they just usually tell them, no, leave it alone, no, I'm just eat it, honestly, yeah. But other than that, like, um, some of them are, are kind of like, uh, I got it, you know. Hmm. Did you used to pick them from around here? Yeah, they're all around here. Oh, okay. Mm. And what time do they usually, so, what do you usually pick when it comes to a ceremony? It all depends on uh, what, a lot of height agency, which does the yeah. So some of them they, they help, some of them like uh, some of them they they're, they're like uh, eatable, some of them they can't. You know. mm -hmm. So they uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot. You know, you can get some in the, in the mountains and then um, the valleys and then just around here. You know. So 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 what specifically would you get from the mountains? Um, mostly like the cedars and then um. Oh, how they get here? Um, um, not be to ado, just let ado, um, to 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 chin that that any. Okay. Ado, um, is 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 cold that any to me. Uh huh. Oh, oh, that's any. There's um, part that there's like um, the crazy to use that there's like, usually like um, there's like. But kind of I did that on this Yeah. So like there's a male and then there's a female. Mm-hmm. Because I, I remember the things we used to pick were mostly like chichen, uh, wild onions. Oh, that's the, the food, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. So that's what I, I, I come from a farm. Oh. So we have a farm up in Shiprock, and my family still make still grows crops every year. Yeah. Yeah, it's better you learn, you know, because the most of what they tell us is like a non set. You grew up on the ground. You see, it's not on it. Yeah, non set. We're growing, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like uh, from birth, and then we're growing old, you know. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is that at the list. Nakuna Kanilia. Yep, and that's where we grown from Mother Earth, but we're also raised by Father Sky as well, yes, too. Yes, yes. Yep. But other than that, like, um, every time you do, if you're going to get a, <coughs> if you're like, uh, to get like the herbs that you want, you got to say a prayer with it first and then, mm-hmm. just like how you would, like, um, like a trade, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like the corn pollen or the white. White corner, you know. Yep. So that's just like how you use it. Mm-hmm. That you mean that way. And some of them, they want song to sing, you know. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's that's definitely what I remember about the old traditional ways that I, because my great grandfather was a medicine man, oh. and also my great grandfather on my Nella side, oh. my great Nelly was also a medicine man too. Oh. So those were old stories that I heard, mm-hmm. and your stories reflect mm-hmm. what I remember listening to. Yeah, my dad's dad, he used to be a medicine man. Mm-hmm. Then he used to do like um, and then some uh, sand painting and all that. Oh, okay. But he grew old and then he, he, he passed yes. on. Yeah. So although, although the only, I kind of like, um, I kind of like grew around like some medicine man too. There was a lady down here that I used to help her like during the summertime when like off school, you know. Like her name was uh, Juanita Mace. Juanita Mace? Yeah. Okay. She used to be a, a, a medicine woman. A lot of people, they come and they, 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 she, she would help them. Do the cure and all that. So I used to hurt treat for her. For her and oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did father, you? father and that, mostly like, um, there was only two left, but they passed on. Mm. But the only one, they, they only have like a, one in public and title, and then mostly like some, some out that, that way, you know. So you said you haven't rode horses in a while. So, uh, did you used to do a lot of like uh, any competitive riding, like in rodeos and bull riding? Um, bull riding, yeah, bull riding, no, I do um, uh, horse race, so they, yeah, yeah. We do like uh, the Pony Express, you know. Oh, yeah. And then uh, the field day, don't you? So, mostly like you, it was pretty good back then, you know. Father and dad, mostly like a. Uh, the injury that I got, you know, from them, you know. Up to this day, it's giving me, that's just like probably what it is, you know, other than that. So I guess that other than that, it's just about uh, what it is about horses now, you know. We used to have a lot, long, long time ago, we used to have like a, a big corral right here uh, with a, a bucking chute and all that. Yeah. And then uh, back then, you know, we used to have like uh, the little kids, you know, they're all grown up now, you know. Yeah. They're all grown up and they are all like, got married and they have kids on their own now, you know. But um, we used to have like a big old horse corral right here, like a little arena. Yeah. Now I used to put like wild horses in there, like mm. baby horses, and then, uh, and then we used to, we used to ride them, and they, they used to watch, and then later on they got interested and they just started like riding it too, you know. It was, it was pretty good, you know, but other than that, mostly like, um, just, um, just, just, you know, just what you can do with it, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then they turn out nice. Some of them, some of them, they, they turn out nice, but some of them, you just can't get to them. They're just like too wild, you know. Yep. Yeah, they just yeah. continue to stay wild. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cabazon Peak. Yeah. What's the story behind Cabazon Peak? Does it make it difficult for you all here? I mean, as far as maybe like law enforcement, BIA yeah. services? It takes like two, three, four hours for a Navajo Nation to come out here 
sometimes like a day, two days, three days. Sometimes they, they don't really come out here. And where's the closest station for them to come from? Crown Point. So all right, let me see all the materials. You have skis, yeah. looks like some, some studs. And so when you guys do the neighborhood watch then, what's, what, is it everybody goes all the way across the, uh, the mesa over there too as well? Okay. Yeah, remember you had to dig around like this? Yeah. And then you pull them up, right? Not on the top, but in the root. And you just... Okay, so that's like northeast of the high school. Yeah, yeah. That's where the, the Tessa Megapex are at. Yeah. 